Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So today, I'm gonna give you athlete hacks that you didn't even know, or you might not have known. Let's get right into it. there's a lot of time that you spend on the court which means that you're almost always there and sometimes you forget things and sometimes you just didn't know about something that could work better so today we're going to talk about some things that can really help you throughout your athletic career both on the court and off the court and trust me I've used these a ton of times so hack number one if you're a girl that wears earrings or a guy that wears earrings, sometimes you don't have enough time to take the earrings off before a game or your coach is right up on your back and you have to quickly take it off and you don't want to lose them. Or you're about to start a game and you have nowhere to put them. This is a hack that I use very often and I've used in the past. But remember, after you put, do this hack, make sure to properly store your earrings because we don't want them to get lost, especially if there's something really important to you. great for you to invest in some storage bags which I mean is Ziploc bags you know the kind that you put your sandwiches in if you get a Ziploc bag and you put that in your gym bag your bag is gonna be so much more organized and not only that you'll have a safe place to put your earrings when you're after practice because a lot of you guys go right after school and you have the time to find things because your bag will be so much more organized rather than super junky and then you have to dig through things really quickly because remember make it easy for yourself number three now if you're at the age where you have made the personal choice to shave one of the things that really really helped me in time is when you kind of kind of get a little bit of the peach fuzz down on the legs you're starting to get a little fuzzy on your legs and then you don't have enough time and then you realize you have a big important game so one of the things that somebody actually taught me was shaving with lotion now usually when you shave your legs you have you're in the shower you're using water shaving with lotion is not only quick but just as effective. So for that reason, sometimes if I know that it's something important, you keep a razor in your bag, that way you have enough time to go ahead and shave those legs quickly without water, come on guys. And your legs get moisturized in the process. Hack number four. Now with our scrunchies, things just get lost in our gym bag all of the time. One of the things that really helped me was getting a scrunchie clip. Now this does, you don't have to go out and buy a scrunchie clip. You can get one of those binder clips, those circular clips that close, or any kind of clip that closes at the end, that way you can put your scrunchies on. That's one of the things that helped me keep all of my stuff together, so when I'm looking for it, I have it there. Also, wearing a scrunchie on my wrist is really effective in reminding myself that I have one, so if I need it, it's right there. And I know a lot of you guys do that, so. So if you're on a team that doesn't allow bobby pins, one of the things that you can do is take the bobby pin out of your hair and put it on, clip it on your pants. That's one of the things that I had to do very, very quickly, especially like a hack, trying to get to a game, and I had to do it really fast. That way I didn't lose the bobby pin and it wasn't in the ground, because bobby pins are hard to find. They're like gold in volleyball. Bobby pins are like gold. That and pre-wrap, those are both gold. So I would take the bobby pin out of my hair and then just clip it onto my pants. That way I would keep it still there. It's still there under my jersey and under my shirt. That way I know that it's there afterwards. So that way I can pin everything back into place perfectly. And I didn't lose my bobby pin and I'm following regulations. Number six, this is the greatest thing ever. This is Vaseline Spray and Go and Moisturizer. Um, ever since I got this, it was the quickest thing ever. This is something that you can spray, it's lotion. It sprays on you that quick, you put it on, 
moisturized, done. Because sometimes when you gotta rub that lotion in and you're sitting there and you're rubbing that lotion in and they're like, hurry up, we're starting warm ups. And you're like, you're still trying to rub it in? <laughs> this way you can just go and you're done and it's over and you're done. So that is really, really great. So I wanted to bring you guys' attention to that. <laughs> Tip number seven. If you have stinky knee pads or shoes, you are not alone. I probably have stinky knee pads and shoes right, <laughs> right now. That's why it's important to wash your shoes regularly because the bacteria does accumulate, especially when you're sweating and your feet sweat. So. so one of the things you can do is get dryer sheets. Get dryer sheets and put those into your shoes and put those into your knee pads to keep your shoes fresh between practices and between times that you're playing. So really, that is a really, really, really great thing, especially if you don't have sneaker balls or you don't wanna invest in sneaker balls. Dryer sheets are something you probably already have in your house. not least I remember my phone always about to die especially when I'm leaving school and going to practice my phone is about to die so it may help you to get an external battery charger um, I carry one in my bag at all times my purse and my bag that way my phone is never dead so I have this external battery charger all I do is I bring my phone cord and you should always have a phone cord on you because it's just safer to make sure your phone is always charged and it's always a great thing to know that you have it. So I have my phone cord and I have my external battery charger because when you go to a tournament, listen, you may not find an outlet. And the number one thing that when, that bums you out the most is when your phone dies. So get you an external battery charger. I'll leave a link to a battery charger I like down below. I hope that you liked this video, that it was helpful for you, that you found out some new things that may be to help you in a tournament, practice, game, whatever sports you play, volleyball, soccer, track, whatever. I hope this really, really helped you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.